In this video, I'm going to show you how to find books on your topic. If you'll remember from before, in my example, I was looking up icons in Byzantium and the iconoclasm. So I think I'm going to look for books about the icons. I'll start off using the same keyword search I used in the Grove Art Online database. So Byzantium. I didn't get any results, so I'm going to broaden my search. So I think that a good keyword to use that might be used to describe my topic in a lot of places would be if I look at Byzantine. That worked a lot better. I have 80 results. What you're seeing here is a list of the different books that our library owns. Since you're working from home, you might want to limit your search to just ebooks, and you can do that by clicking on this ebook box over here on the left. You'll see that's narrowed the search to only six results. Um, if you want to look at one of our ebooks, to get there, all you have to do is click here on this link. When you're working from home, at this point you'd be asked for your Cerritos College login. And here you can see that I've got the whole book right here. I can search within the book by using this box, or I can go through the table of contents. So I could do a quick search for icon, for example. Right? If I see something that looks interesting, it works just like the other databases do. I can read the book here. I can add a bookmark. I can email, print, or cite this part of the book. Now let's go back and look at the other books. For a lot of your topics, you're really going to need to visit some kind of library in person um, because one of the best sources for research in art history are books. So I'm going to go back and look at all of the books we have here at the library. So we have our 80 results. and what you're looking at is the catalog, and the catalog describes the books, doesn't necessarily contain the books. So for this book right here, for Byzantine art, it's going to tell me what's inside the book here in the table of contents. It will give me a summary here, so you can see if it's worth coming to the library. And we even have reviews describing what the book is about. If you like this book, um, you can email yourself the information about the book, including the call number, which you'll see right here. And this is where you're going to find the book here at the library. And all library catalogs work the same way. So whatever library you plan on visiting, you can always Google their library catalog and see if they have the books that you need on your topic.